Hello everyone, welcome back to Vicki's Country Home. For those of you that missed my last video, I had a surprise. I have four new additions to my homestead. A friend is moving and gave me her four mini La Mancha goats. So, for about the past month, I haven't made many videos. You haven't seen me a lot, and that's because I have been building the goat pen. And this is almost entirely, with just a little bit of help, it was almost entirely myself and my sister. So we have been working really hard. And part of that is our predator problem is you have to really protect your animals here. And I've talked about it before, but living in the high desert, there's some unique problems that we have with predators. And it's been exacerbated by the fires we've had the last few years that have burned the hills because that's caused both predator and prey, oh my gosh, the flies are so bad this year, predator and prey to come down out of the hills looking for green, looking for water. So they are now concentrated down here more than they used to be. So when she offered me these goats, I knew I had to protect them. And the biggest thing I had to do is make sure they were safe at night. Coyotes are a huge problem, and they, they are very smart, and they are very persistent, and they have killed a lot of goats in this area. But we also have mountain lions and bobcats, but I'm really concerned about the mountain lions. So we have taken a number of steps that hopefully will help protect them. And it's especially important because the night I brought them home, I read on the next door forum for our neighborhood that literally across the top of the mountain at the end of our road, three goats were killed in their pen within hours of me bringing them home. So and that was a mountain lion. So I'm going to kind of show you what I'm dealing with and what I've done. And hopefully I'm going to take really good care of these little girls. So let's go see what I've done. This is the front gate to the pen and it's chain link, but that won't hold up to these goats. So I've reinforced it with hog panels that are wired on. The gate is chained shut to keep those smart little girls from getting out. And just inside the gate, there's a small area that I've left and put a gate in front of that that is for keeping the food in. And I had to double reinforce that gate also because these girls love their food. And there's three of them. The one in front is Maddie and behind her is Carmel. And Oatmeal. And they're enjoying some beautiful weather right now. It's 85 and sunny and very nice. And then back over here in the corner, that's Jackie O. And she's under the shade cloth. That's a temporary solution to give them some shade until I can put some kind of covering across the top of that pen, but across the top right now I have hog wire wired on. That's and all over around it also. And this is to keep the coyotes and the mountain lions out at night. So by dusk I put all the girls in here and lock them up for the night to keep them safe. And the pool noodles are to keep us safe when, be, from the hog wire edges when we walk around out here.
And this is what I'm doing around the entire outside. This is chicken wire that's about 36 inches high, and I have attached it halfway up on the fence with wire, and then it is laid out about 18 inches or so and staked down to the ground. And we're going to cover that with crushed rock, some road base, and that has been very effective in keeping the coyotes from digging. The goat pen is off to the left back there, and I'm going to show you out in front of that is our road. And if you take our road all the way to the end where it dead ends at the mountain, go right over the top of that mountain, and that is where the people lived whose goats were killed by the mountain lion a week ago. Well, it was last Monday. So not far for a big cat at all. And has me worried, but I'm doing everything I can to protect them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. God bless, and we'll talk again soon.